Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 7 of our Cucumber with Selenium video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about working with scenario outline. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 5, 6 and 6a to have a clear understanding of what this part is going to be. Let's get started. Once again, let's all help to save tree, water and energy to save our motherly nature earth. Because this is not just for us today but it is for our tomorrow as well. Scenario outline. We worked with scenario in part 6 and part 6a and part 5, but there are situations where we may need to run the same scenario another time, but with different data sets. That happens most of the time, right? So using scenario outline, we can run a same scenario, but with different data with the help of what is called as an example. So, Scenario that you saw before in the Cucumbers feature file was just a scenario, right? You have a scenario and you have a scenario description or a name and then you had a given when, then and steps in there. That's it. But with scenario outline, you have a special examples syntax. It comes in conjunction. Without examples, it won't work. The scenario outline won't work. So it should be there and it looks something like this. So you can see that there is a scenario outline and there is an examples and this examples actually holds the username and password. And once again, if you ask me, what is the major difference of that? You can see that the only difference is the username and password values actually sit in inside right here, but this is being called from this step, but with an less than and greater than symbol. And you will understand how this thing works once we start working with it. So let's start working out then and see how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ. So this is the same code which we were working in our previous videos of this course. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to make use of the scenario outline. So I'm not going to really delete the particular code that we wrote before. Rather, I'm just going to create a new scenario with scenario outline. Maybe I can increase the font size a little bit. And you know what? There is a bad news with this Cucumber for Java again compared to Specflow. You cannot hit a breakpoint out here. You cannot do anywhere, anywhere, man. You know, you cannot do anywhere. But in Visual Studio of Specflow, you can actually hit a breakpoint and perform the operation. So you can do that as well. But there is a technical reason behind it. You know what? This login that feature in Cucumber is actually a plain text. So if you actually see the directory maybe show in Explorer there we go and you can see it's just one KB there is nothing special out there you can actually open that in a in a notepad you can just hit a drag and drop and you can see that the feature just comes in whatever you typed right and that's the reason it's actually working but in Visual Studio there is a code behind file and the code behind file actually has methods and reflections and it knows how things works. And that's the reason Visual Studio has an option of creating a big breakpoint in there is to make the life of the developers a little more easier uh, than compared to what we have got in here. So it's not a very big thing, but still debugging using the steps is really handy, right? Maybe in future Java should have that as well. All right, so scenario outline, and you can see once I do a scenario outline there, there is a red screw line, and it says the examples section is missing. So that's what I said. Without an examples section, it is not really going to make any sense, All right? So I'm just going to type username, uh, or maybe I can just copy this, guys. Just get them cheat. So I'm just going to Control X, and I'm going to paste it right here. And here this time, I'm going to say, and I enter username and password there we go so once I do that you can see that the color has turned into purple out there and this is because now it knows that okay we have an examples and we have a column which is being used by some of the steps within that particular scenario outline right so now I'm just gonna hit a generate uh, so generate is again spec flow thing but here we have something called alt enter and we just create in the login step there we go so once I do that it comes in here but we actually have to get this value out as a 
parameter because there is no parameters here and that's again a bad news so in specflow it automatically creates for you but cucumber for java is not bringing that thing so i'm just going to type it manually for now so good but how about this how to handle the situation so you actually have to get the regular expression for doing that so the regular expression was there before I just created but I just deleted that so if you have a regular expression for that you can actually do it but for now I'm just going to type it manually so what I'm going to do is I'm really not going to teach how the regular expression can be uh, can be done but based on my understanding what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a regular expression uh, open close bracket and there is a square bracket so within the square bracket so whatever you want to skip it you can so I'm just going to skip a slash of double quotes something like this and then I'm going to do this for here as well and now if I come back you can see that right now it has turned into less than symbol and greater than symbol and it's kind of mapped right now right so which is good and uh, now log in the correct username and password using a scenario outline I'm just gonna say that because uh, you cannot have same scenario name within the same feature. It's going to be a duplicate thing, right? And now if I try to run this particular scenario outline, you can see that it will work as expected. So uh, let's change this. Maybe admin, instead of admin, I'm going to say execute and automation. Control Alt L to format this line. And now if I try to run the feature, oops, we have a problem in here. We did not actually did the implementation, right? Oops. So let's do that as well. System dot out dot print ln. Right, there we go. And let's try to run this again. Then the username is execute and the password is automation, right? So we could be able to print that value as well. So if you have many values, so the main reason for going to the example is because you should iterate through multiple values, right? So I can say admin and admin, and I will also say like uh, testing, QA so these are the different kinds of passwords so I'm just gonna save it and you can see that the scenario outline will right now run for three times instead of just one time so if I run this you can see that there will be execution happening for three times for the same and you can see right here so the scenario has executed one two three times right using this example this scenario and this scenario has executed one time so if you go over here, you can see that the username and password is uh, execute automation. So this is how you can work with scenario outline in Cucumber implementation for Java. So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.